that we have a guest host, Anthony McPherson. Anthony, that is me. Can you, How are you doing? Can you introduce yourself real quick? Andrew? My name is Anthony McPherson. Uh, I'm a poet. Uh, that's, that's all I do. Oh, no, that's not all I do. I also make uh, a lot of videos online. You should check them out. And uh, this is one of them. So and of course, I, everyone knows me, L.A. Marks. You probably don't read follow it. me on Instagram already or something. But... <laughs> Let's talk to our guest the man of the hour. today, our man of the hour. If I only had an hour. <laughs> right. We have three minutes with the My one, man the only, three minutes. Bob the Holman. Three minute man, a miracle. Hi. Yikes. Bob, who are you? Um, I'm just this poet, uh, like McPherson has said, and uh, you know, that's my problem, is that uh, how to, since you define everything you do as, as uh, being a poet, then it gets into how do you differentiate between the different sides of your poem, which is, we all know, is kind of an omniscient view. But also, you? the reason we asked you here into the studio in smile to go today is because we want to know about a problem. A problem that you're having in your personal life or a problem that you see in the world around you because we are going to give you a dose of poetry to try to solve that problem. Yeah. In searching for the, uh, the, the the cred for a spoken word, you know, I, I have, you know, it led me to the study of endangered languages because there are so many languages out there, I'm talking about really small languages, but that still live in the consciousness of orality and the ecology of consciousness that they interact in. You know, what's the use of living in a planet that has a smooth running ecosystem if everybody on top of it is living in the same culture? How do we keep the languages alive? Let, let it be known that the poetry doesn't have to be in a single tradition. It can be in as many traditions as we have languages, and each language is its own consciousness. That's my problem. Okay, hey, you know what? We we're gonna tackle this. Can you? We can do this, right? I think it's typewriter time. Daily dose of poetry. Daily dose. Bottom of a leaf. Microbes you've never seen. Only your tongue knows. Mm. Start out with some gibberish. Awareness as seeds to sow. Mm. Mm. Rosetta stone cracks. Flawless masquerading as tongues, words code for silence. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Good. So Whoa. what's it gonna be? I am gonna go with the haiku. Oh, wow. In that, That's I think choice. that there was a, um, I think that the way that the silence ended it mm. was the way that if the problem is not solved, that's where the mm. result is. That's Where should people come and find you if they want to know more about you? Well, you can come out to uh, bobholman.com, where the website resides. It has a lot of, a lot of videos and, and, uh, and other material. And then there's also, I'm on Instagram and, and uh, Bob Holman and Twitter, Poet, right? Bob Holman Poet on awesome. Instagram. Daily dose of poetry. Daily dose.